Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the ANAPR23 radar homing warning system uh, which is this little beauty here and it's comprised of two parts the APR25 which is the C-band radar detection and homing set and the APR27 here which is the SAM launch warning set. Um, so going a little bit closer as you can see at the moment it's on standby um, so we're not going to be picking anything up um, we're kind of in pause in a, at the moment so I'm not going to pick anything up at the moment at all but what I'm going to do is once I come out of pause I'm going to flick on the APR25 I will flick on the APR27 I will flick this over to receive and um, and over I don't know if you can see um, this used airfield between Kobaletti and um, Batumi I have uh, an SA-10 site set up and I'm going to fly towards it and try to provoke it into fire, uh, firing a, a SAM at me and I'll take through the motions uh, one thing I have noticed since the version 2 update uh, I didn't use this A4 too much beforehand um, but I do, did know that there used to be a, a threat light that was there that would give you visual queuing so when you had nails uh, you get steady light and then one, once there was a launch it, it would start flashing at you uh, but that's all changed and that's all moved over to here um, so once you get nails there's a, a, a red receive light comes on here and then once there's a SAM been launched you get a SAM light there um, somebody has mentioned um, in other places that there could be a jammer I mean, I know ECM stands for electronic countermeasures, but um, I can't figure out. There's nothing in the guide um, as to say if there's any sort of jamming. Uh, I know that's repeat, a repeat signal. I, I don't know if um, if that's part of a jamming. Um, I mean, I suppose I could try that uh, once I get uh, once I get nails, flick that to repeat, and see if I can try and block it. Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, the, the the guide was very minimalist about about all of this, so it's sort of uh, try it yourself, basically. But um, I shall try my best to show you the motions of it all as and when we get go through it. So come out of pause now. Um, there we go. So I'll flick on the APR25. There we go, we've got a ghostly s um, oh, and we picked up uh, nails already. Um, so that means, oh, and there's a launch. Uh, can't really see, ah, there we go. So it'd be interesting to see if there's any sort of jamming quality to what's happening at the moment or what oh we did well oh another one's been launched No, set one got me. Okay, well, um, as you can see, um, you see, ten was successful. Obviously, I mean, we are talking about 50s, 60s tech here, um, trying to uh, work against a more up-to-date S300 SAM battery. Um, but I mean there wasn't much else that I could have shown you there um, so the audio and visual cues um, uh, where the obviously the visual cueing has been shifted over to the a ANAPR 23 itself rather than being on the um, panel combing um, and that's about it really I mean I noticed that there's PRF written underneath the volume buttons but that's a pulse uh, repetition frequency I believe but it's just a PRF uh, there was nothing 
um, to show or in the guide to um, let you know what that was actually for um, and I don't know if there's anything else to the system other than that um, so I mean if you've got this far and you've heard the questions that I've got and you know a bit more about it uh, leave a comment let me know um, be great help um, but other than that um, thanks for watching and as always take care and I'll see you in the next one